Welcome, Masami. It's so wonderful to be able to chat with you today. <laughs> Great to um, see you, Alicia, and thank you for having me today. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Masami, do you maybe want to share for those who don't know who you are and, and what you do at the moment and, and what you're what you stand for. Do you want to maybe share a little bit about that for us today? Mm, so um, I'm Masami, Masami Sato, um, and I'm the founder of um, global giving initiative called B1J1, which is also known as Buy One, Give One. So B1J1, Buy One, Give One, connect the businesses with um, impactful giving opportunities so that they can really embed effective giving in what they do. So for example, a coffee shop might give access to life-saving water for every coffee they sell, or an uh, author might plant a tree for every book she sells. Or, so we work with um, businesses around the world and all these businesses are integrating that spirit of giving as well as the act of giving in the things that they do every day so um that's b1j1 in a nutshell <laughs> <laughs> which is an incredible organization and an incredible movement that you have created um masami how did this idea come to be mm, so um yeah i think like all of us have you know different uh, aspiration or you know, dreams or so for me um i became a business owner um for the first time about 20 years ago and at that time, because I was passionate about the food, so I chose to start a food, food business. And my idea behind it was that I wanted um, the business to give. And, and so uh, I promised to give all the profit from that business so that one day I could build a um, soup kitchen to help street the children. Because, uh, you know, I used to see a lot of um, things when I was backpacking and traveling around the world and realized that there were kids living on the street or couldn't go to school in some countries. So I wanted to make a difference. So that's why I started my business. But then when I was running that business, um, I realized that it was also very difficult for me as a business owner, um, running a, a you know, growing business and trying to do lots of things as a business owners to actually take time to do something or you know, make enough money so that I could make a significant impact. So one day, um, about five years after I started my business, um, this idea came to me, which was this. Um, instead of trying to do something big in the future, what if um, we only gave just one meal for every meal we so sold? And that idea of you know, buy one, give one, uh, really resonated with me and transformed the way I felt about my own company. <clears throat> So um, then after a while, I realized that there are so many amazing people running amazing businesses, having a different kind of aspirations. And but, um, what if there was a simple and easy way for those businesses to actually make that impact and make that really part of their business activities. And so I decided to, at that time, sell my food business. And then um, I moved to Singapore to start the Global Giving Initiative B1G1. And it's been 13 like, years since. <laughs> wow. That, your story is absolutely mind blowing and so incredibly it's so incredibly powerful. I have had the privilege of hearing your story and it, it's <laughs> such an honor to be able to have you on this recording, but also just to be able to hear the passion and the, the heart that you have for what you do. And I love how it is just an idea that came to you and then you just did it. You just created it. Here's an idea. Yeah, cool. I'm going to do that. Um, Masami, what, what is it about the work that you do that inspires you? Mm, actually, um, even though we are doing something, you know, with a strong sense of purpose, um, as a you know business and organization, of course, we deal with all sort of things that we need to work on to, you know, make things happen. So on a day-to-day -day basis, the work that we do could be quite similar or, you know, not so different from any other businesses, you know, like customer services, uh, service, or it could be like uh, handling the data or banking or finance, accounting, like, you know, like all sort of things that we have 
to do as a business. So um, it's quite often easy to forget the real purpose behind why we are doing what we do. So for us, the best part of what we are doing is that when we are working with these amazing businesses around the world, um, that choose to give, you know, even though giving is not something that's required of them. Mm -hmm. um, it's optional, <laughs> definitely. And then also, if businesses are working so hard to create uh, more profit or to grow, giving away their hard-earned money seems like, you know, like, why do you do that, <laughs> right? But um, we get to work with these businesses who choose to give because they can, not because they have to, but because they can. So having that shared belief that the businesses with a real sense of purpose can together change our world and making that happen every day and seeing how these this movement actually grow. And then also um, realizing that around the world, there are so many amazing organizations that are making a great difference, working with local peoples in those communities, but they are having, you know, facing a lot of challenges along the way too. And their work deserves to be supported so that they can actually make those impact in a greater way, faster, um, and help more people. So being able to be that kind of um, middle of it and connecting the great intent to give with the actual high impact activities to make those things happen like mm -hmm. just by remembering like it just makes me feel like so grateful <laughs> that we get to do um, something like this mm -hmm. um, and so that spirit of giving that we observe in every individual or every business owner or uh, even the person who is supported by those giving activities and the beneficiaries so-called um, but when they experience that their own same sense of giving spirit and you know realize that they themselves can contribute um, mm. to create a great more fulfilling world that's kind of you know amazing <laughs> to be <laughs> yeah be part of yeah to be part of and be the, the head of that mm. <laughs> it's just mm. phenomenal absolutely phenomenal um what what are some of the projects that you when you when you take businesses that you partner with what are some of the projects for those listening that perhaps haven't heard of b1g1 before mm. and what are some of the projects that you guys uh, work with mm. so we have a more than like 500 um, projects in B1G1. So it's very difficult to say these are the projects I like, you know, the most or anything. But um, often when people think about giving, then quite often it's about donating money to a particular charity organization. Right? Like, so we are familiar with that idea. But what we realized that we could actually do um, is to make people understand, help people understand that when they give um, specific type of impact that can be created and as a result of it they feel more connected to that giving activities that they support so for example um, if uh, you are um, passionate about you know making sure everybody has healthy life and ac having access to clean water because there are people around the world who still work you know walk like two two to um, three hours for sometimes four hours to get um, to water place mm -hmm. and and then carrying that you know bucket full of water it's really really um, tough but then the water they bring home could be also contaminated Mm -hmm. So you actually can help build more wells or, you know, um, distribute like a, a water filter system to families. Or, so there are many ways to make those things happen. But because one person might not have the money to build a one well, like, you know, it's cost about $5,000 to build a one well in uh, many of the African countries. But, you know, you may not have enough money to do that today. So what we do is um, by uh, working with the selected organizations, we look into the finance and breakdown of the project activity. So when we look at how many people uh, can access this well and how long can this well last um, without too much maintenance and you know budgeting and so on, we can break it down and then come to uh, impact such as it costs just one cent to give access to clean water to somebody for one day. And now that one cent can make that impact, even you know, businesses are choosing to do things like every email we send, we want to give one person access to water for a day. Or, mm. So um, this is just one example, uh, but 
the B1 J1 project can be like you know, um, planting one tree in a specific rainforest or giving a book to a school library so that the many children can actually share the joy of reading and learning. Um, or, you know, it could be giving uh, occupational training or even a tool uh, like access to sewing machines so that the woman can start her own business and gain uh, a sustainable income for the entire family. Or So we got so many different projects in many different countries. So uh, we cannot name one or two, um, but I, the most important part is that the, every business um, uh, can choose what kind of impact they want to create and find a way to do so, but also do so in a way that works for the business. Yeah, it, it's such... And it's so easy. I don't, we've, we've been fortunate to be able to recently come on board with mm. B1G1 and set up Giving Impacts. And it just, it blows my mind the infrastructure behind what it is that you do as a business owner with, you know, lots of things to do to just be able to go on and go, right, it's set up and done. The way that you have created this is so incredibly powerful from the, from the, the, um, the systems behind it, as well mm. as the thought and the heart, which is, an incredible testament to you and the team that you work with. Oh, thank you. Um, to be able to make it so easy to, to be able to do that, whether it's access to water or yeah, a trauma kit or tools or whatever mm. it is, it's, it's actually incredibly easy to be able to do. Um, but some, if somebody's listening to this and is like, okay, you've inspired me, I run a business, I need, I'd like to know more, what's the mm. best way that people can kind of get to know um, a bit more about B1G1? So uh, if you want to know more, then we'd love you to visit our website and then find out more. So you can go to b1g1.com um, and then find out more or even like reach out to us. Um, so and then if you are inspired by this or you want to connect with me, then you are welcome to connect with me on like LinkedIn, find me, Masami Sato, and then um, send me a message as well. <laughs> Beautiful. That's fantastic. Masami, thank you so much for your time. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us today for somebody who might be listening um, mm. that's stuck at home, isolated, that, that kind of inspires you? Mm. I think like this, uh, you know, pandemic situation is a very interesting um, time for us because um, there has never been a time like this where all of us around the world got impacted by the same challenge together. And so um, there is a also deeper sense of empathy being um, created now that we really can share like, you know, how it is like and um, and, and we have, you know, uh, all like now uh, the same aspiration or desire to um, have a greater connection as well. Um, so that's a very interesting time. Another thing about this situation is that because, you know, individually we didn't create this situation. So, you know, we, we weren't the one who started this pandemic, <laughs> let's say, and we can't change it. You know, it's happening already. And if we, whether we like it or not, we get all impacted by this. So when things like this happen, it's so easy to feel powerless and then also insignificant in the great context of big challenge ahead of us. But then I think the um, learning that I had working on this initiative, B1G1, is that actually, even though big things are very important and powerful, but there is a significant power in small things that we do on a regular basis. So if we are not worried, worrying about doing big things right away, then actually there are lots of little things that we actually can do today and every day, such as, you know, just like, you know, small giving, or uh, it could be just um, talking with people and listening or um, uh, so that I think is uh, like, uh, important thing because we've seen how those small things created so much impact and such a great difference in the long run. So even though, yes, we are still in a difficult time, but if we remember that we all have a power to make a difference, you know, whatever way we can, then I think we really will move forward after this to start actually designing or creating the new way of being, new way of running businesses or new way of living life. So yeah, 
I'm still um, very hope hopeful about where we are going all together. Oh, that's so beautiful. Thank you so much for your time, Asami. It's been just an honor to be able to chat with you today. And thank you for sharing with us in this group, Collectively Inspired Humans. For those listening, um, I'll make sure that in the links, there is all the ways to be able to connect with this incredible human. Um, and thank you so much for <laughs> all the you. work that you and all of your team do together, Masami. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much for doing what you do, Alicia, as well. And then thank you for watching um, this uh, recording as well. So thank you. Great to connect. Beautiful. Thanks, Masami.